All right, so this is ClearPlan in a whole. This is what we use to manage all of the logistics pertaining to our repossession company. What we had noticed, major key advantages in this program prior to anything really being released to it was we just we didn't have a way to track what our drivers were doing in the field. The admin never could. There's no mapping software that allows you to do that whatsoever. Um, nonetheless, something that's smart and can speak language to both your drivers and the office while creating intercommunication between those two parties, which, as you know, in our business is <laughs> has no communication, to say the least. So let me just go over some of the features, functions of it with you. You have the zones. This filter feature is probably one of the most crucial parts that we use, and this is how we separate who we want to run what. We can separate them all, and or we can categorize them too. So if I want to pull up West 1, West 2, and West 3, I'm able to do so. I can pull up all of my zones. I can also just go zone specific if I want to just see one. And kind of the, the key part of doing zones is you want to do them within, you can see this zone is really busy right now. But in, in, this, in this fashion, you want to do it to a point where an agent can run through one zone per day. That's the way best practices kind of get involved. You're making sure that you're hitting all of your assignments constantly. And at the end of the day, you'll have some organization where the office can finally see what's happening in the field live. That's another thing. A lot of a lot of softwares weren't live. They were cumbersome when we were using them. So with this, you're actually able to see the change as it happens. If a driver recovers this point, I'll go over those points in a sec, but if he recovers this, it'll come off the map, and he won't need to worry about even heading over there. So the next part is the filter by jobs, another really, really, really important function. We can select, so if I want to see what the assignments that I got all day for all zones, I'm going to go over here to select all zones, but I want to filter it by just the new jobs so I can see all the new intake that we got for the day. Another really, really cool feature of this is confirmed jobs. We have field agents that do nothing but run these kind of gravy points. So as you can see, we've got mm, 10 or so that need attention. And I'll, I'll just send one field agent to do nothing but all of these points. Each icon represents something, sort of speaks language to the driver. Uh, it's, it's, it's imperative that you get one that your company works and flows well with. We tried several. Um, if you go over here, you can look in the icon suite. We have tons of icons to choose from, and these are the these are the custom ones that we decided to go with, and they're working well for our company. Uh, this is just a standard set of icons. So let's go back to the map. Another thing, if you're a large camera scanner that we've never had the ability to do, is with camera scans, you've never been able to just see your camera scan. So let's turn off our home addresses and the filter by address. All of these are the filters. Uh, you can filter really anything you want at any time. Um, and we always dictate what we want our guys to filter and run throughout that day. So camera scans in zone one, west one, I mean, that will uh, and that will dictate what they do all day. So let's just take a look at uh, camera scans right now. And even I'll filter it down another one. I'll just go to what all of our day alerts are. So if you look, you can just take a look. This is all of our day scans right now, day and night, advanced alerts. So this is a why we have we have just drivers running these basically 24/7. Um, I keep scanning over these. What I'll do is I'll touch base on a point really quick as well. All right. So if you click one of these points here, let me find another one. This is a new address. This is a new assignment that needs to be run. What you can do is you can come up to here and go into the hyperlink, and it can take you to RDN, and or you can copy the last six if you have uh, a need to do so. The check-ins are also shown right here as well. The check-in process is extremely important. When one of our drivers goes to an address, he will check in and save. What that does is it monitors how many times you're there. It creates consistency. You know if you checked in four times, you have to take that address off your map. You've got to get resolution on that account. It hasn't shown yet. It's not going to resolve it. Stop wasting the diesel. Uh, history will show the time and check-ins for all the history. Um, and then all of the addresses on the account. This actually looks like it's a new address that was provided by the client in this case. Also, when you do this, you can choose whatever custom icon you want. If you have a need uh, for this certain client, you can select one of the custom ones. Right now, we have a special client that we have categorized as all of these push pins. And we have a field agent doing nothing but running these push pins right now because we're trying to get a final push 
for performance with this client. Um, you can kind of see too in the forecast here. Um, I mean, if you look at the map on a day to day, -day snapshot, so if we just look at this right here, this agent's area is actually rather caught up. He's only got a few points, a few new ones to run tonight. I mean, again, this is something that we've never been able to see before. So to finally get to put this on a screen and say, this is what my company looks like as a whole, it's, it's amazing. And it was something that never really existed before. So uh, it's just, it's helped our business you know, tremendously. So this is an explanation of uh, our zones, the way we run. Essentially, the zone you need to do is you want to make the zone, one zone needs to be enough accounts for a driver to stay busy all day. Generally, you know within your own specific company's needs how many zones are going to need to be drawn. We know in this area, this is one of our zones, it's one of our west zones. We know that this area always maintains about 20 accounts, and we drew our zone accordingly. You can custom draw your zones. So that's that zone. We custom drew this. this there's nothing out of this area. We, we don't accept this is the edge of our coverage area. So this really helps, too, because there's no more guess of, is that in our coverage area or not? Because if it is not in your coverage area, you'll dictate it via your zone that you draw. So I'll turn that zone off. You can turn these on at any time um, if it helps. I'll turn that off. And what you can see here is my agent, Tonight, when he runs this area, he will hit all of his new points, which are these exclamation points. From there, you can go and get a hyperlink into RDN and or copy the last six to a uh, copy the last six, I'm sorry, to a clipboard if he needs to put it in any other system. A lot of companies, I'm sure you run multiple systems as well, so you'll be able to cross go through those. You have the check-in, how many check-ins have been provided at this address. So what you'll do is when he gets here, he'll check into the address. And at that point in time, it'll change it to a blue point. Once it's a blue point, it's a standard point. So if he says, hey, you know what, this looks really good, I want to rerun it. He can actually still check in, but he can change the icon and he can keep it as new, which I thought was a really important feature when we built it, mostly because there are going to be times when you know you just missed your car. So after that, it's going to turn to a standard blue point. So you might say to yourself, okay, well then how do you, how do you tell what you've run and what you haven't, because that's been a huge part of our industry. It's been a big issue is the tracking side of it. You can come up here, and you can show the last check-ins prior. And as you start to pull this back, you can see these points disappearing. So I can see where that driver went in the last four days. The most important feature, though, for you as a driver is when you want to show the number of check-ins. Because once you check in to this point here, you can say, okay, I've got two check-ins now at all of this, this point, and this point. I need to rerun those because I only have one or two check-ins. And then after that, after three or four, you're going to need to switch into a day and have one of your field agents discount that information or demand the vehicle. Each point is a little bit different. You can see we're using some custom points. These push pins are for a specific client that we're trying to have a large push for recovery percentage. So what we've done is we've dictated just one of our field agents to run these points all day long. Um, he's just running these uh, across all of our zones as well. This is a standard point. You're talking about a historical camera hit here. You can see there's a scan here on 1218. It's a neighborhood scan. The driver was actually able to put the address in here as well. So And it looks like it's being run a lot. We probably confirmed that address, but we just continue to run it. So as, a, as an owner, I can see that it's been checked in 54 times. I know that seems like a lot, but I'm sorry, it's been checked in once. I'm sorry. I know that that seems like a lot, but we're not going to pull it off of our map yet. This right here, you're talking, this is a day, day historic, day advanced alert, I'm sorry. Uh, advanced alert, you know what that is. We've never had an ability to really monitor any of those or put them on a map. This has actually been checked into once, just recently put them on the map. And if you, uh, if you look over here, you can see we have two more in this area. We usually run these two or three times, and then we pull them off. So that's kind of covering up the zone training and or going over what, is, what each zone does. The next thing I want to show you is the admin side. You're not really going to see this on the driver side, even though our drivers have access to this. This is mostly really just for our office to monitor our day-to-day -day activity, and that's going to be our reports. So another amazing feature of the check-in process that tracks all those check-ins and it puts them onto a graph for us to see. And you can really kind of monitor 
where your company has got peak performance, where you might have some shorthandedness, you can see it really five to seven. This is when our drivers are off of the road. No one's checking in. No one's really recovering. All of the uh, values, obviously, over here on the side of the table. So I can also go per employee, and that's this is the most important thing to me. So in the last 24 hours, we checked into 150 addresses. We've discounted 31 of those, and we've recovered 17 vehicles. I can take it a step further, and this is a feature that I literally cannot live without, and I can see what drivers I got, who's doing what, and where. So let's take a look at Ryan. Ryan discounted six, and he checked into 15. So he discounted half of what he checked into. That's kind of a soft check-in day, but I knew that this agent was having issues with his truck this day, so I was able to kind of say, okay, you know what, that's fine. Um, I can go to another one right now. Let's see what Mike did. Okay. So Mike, he checked into 14 addresses. He discounted seven of them uh, with three recoveries. So this is, uh, this is kind of an average for the last 24 hours as these guys have gotten going. At around 5 p.m., these reports will greatly change. And you can really, that's when we run a majority of our reports is after guys get off, off of the road. Um, you can also take a look at just your recoveries. Your discounts. Who discounted what? Who's your top performer in that? Another good way to judge your analytics is when you have, a, when you have a, an army of field agents or a lot of field agents, you want to make sure that they're discounting checking in to addresses, discounting addresses. If you have a guy that just checks in to 15 addresses, discounts not one, no recoveries, you know, it's probably time to have a talk about performance with that agent. And then you can just see the total check-ins from everybody. Let me take a look at Doug here. Doug is one of my top agents. He's checked in at 25 addresses so far. He's only been on shifts for, you know, really the last six hours. So we already had 25 addresses out of them. He's discounted four. At 9 a.m., looks like we had a real spike in recoveries. Probably started our day picking up day camera hits. So that was a really busy time for us. But that can show, hey, if this continues on a trend at 9 a.m., we might need to get extra coverage in these areas, something that we really, we just never had before. So the ability to track your data and track what your company is doing and put it on paper so you can actually see where where are my deficiencies because we have deficiencies no repossession company is perfect here we are in an industry owned by logistics with really no really any logistical software and then now we can tie those logistics in with tracking and agent tracking and performance tracking I mean it's it's really it's, it's unheard of so that wraps up the report section. Uh, the next thing I wanted to touch base on briefly is the tracking functionality. What I'm able to do is I'm able to see where all my vehicles are at all times, real time on a map. Kind of some key advantages of this. I mean, obviously the tracking is a huge key advantage, but you're, kind of, you're always able to see where your guys are. You want to make sure that you're giving good spread, good coverage. So I've got a lot of vehicles in this area. They're working through this area here today. So it looks like the west is really saturated right now. I've got a couple guys down here running and a couple guys in my east valley running right now. We currently have fleet management software that we're using for, we used it for three to five, I'd say three years at least. Um, and we've, we've completely eliminated it. There's really no need for it well, now that we can see live time where our vehicles are at via clear. And it's, it's, one, it's one less software to run in your office. That was a huge issue that we were having is jumping between softwares all the time. It's just costing you downtime and money. Copy, paste this truck driver, look up what truck he's in, find what truck he's in. And you just go to the guy. Boom, hover over him, there's my user, I am actually sitting in this spot right now in this moment, and it's, it's, it's instant live. So it's one of the most crucial parts of Clear Plan and one of our favorite parts.